Hello everybody, the CubeCraft Network has released some new information on the future updates of the network. So let's just jot dive right in. One of the biggest differences is that it has now been separated into Bedrock and Java, and previously they were all kind of mixed together, um, which makes me assume because what they do is they replicate the games from Java as they transfer the Java games onto the Bedrock network, and this shows that they prefer to work with Java first. They'll likely do the complete Java update. They'll update all of Java and release it and test it. And then they'll work on removing moving it over to the bedrock. Um so yeah let's just let's just dive right in and see what these have. So the 1.9 Java update, hub refresh, um pretty cool hub. Um, we got some netherite and other blocks like that. Um existing maps will be updated to 1.9. That's definitely good to hear. Um, and then a network wide resource pack, which will be just really nice and convenient. Next up is Java Egg War Season 2. So, I don't know, this one's going to be an interesting one. So, obviously, what they're doing is they're removing the old, uh, the old season, getting some new maps, Emerald Rework, Enchanting Revamp. Another thing that I thought is really quite sad and will be a major disappointment to the entire community is it used to be where benefits for pushing and attacking was all there was but now we see that the reason why the pushing and attacking is a benefit is because we're getting this nine letter word in the shop and the nine letter word is netherite which is right here i think that we all previously assume that when you killed somebody or destroyed their egg you would get um get something out of that but now it just shows that that's not the case um and i don't think that anyone really cares a lot for those netherite tools because it was supposed to make the game speed up which is why they did that but now it's just another tire of loot that to go by and I don't think that that was what we wanted the change for or really anything like that was not what the community wanted and it just doesn't even do what it's supposed to do. It's completely unrelated. That is not going to benefit pushing and attacking at all. Um, improvement to hardcore items will be enjoyable and faster. That's definitely going to be good if they can make it better. Um, one point on content and shops. I am going to like the tridents, I think that's a really cool idea. Um, and then a new shop design. That's going to be really nice for all the Java players because, I mean, just the tabs on the top will be really nice. And uh, it's just going to be more like uh, Hypixel, but like be better as well because, I mean, the favorite slots at the bottom will be nice. Um, and then you can see this new map and that that definitely looks pretty cool. Now for the Java Lucky Islands 1.9 update. So we got some new Lucky uh, block types, new maps, and more. So... Let's just look at the lucky block types. So these are um, five of the six. So this is probably gonna be your normal lucky, lucky block. It's probably gonna give you the basic gear. Now this blue one is going to be the diamond lucky blocks. You're gonna get diamond tools, diamond armor, and diamond swords, maybe axes. You might even get netherite out of them. I don't know, but mostly just diamond stuff. This one is gonna be just like a random of those. This red might include something like, this red might include something like TNT or like wands and special items. And this uh, green is probably going to be stuff like food, uh, maybe some blocks and, and stuff like that. And this one right here, um, they showed a, you should check this video. It'll be in the description. But they showed a video of it like moving around and teleporting. So it might be even more powerful than most of the other blocks. Um, but I I have no idea what it's gonna contain. I don't know. Um now for the ja now now for the Java Skywars 1.9 update. So we're getting new maps. Um, that definitely looks pretty interesting. I think they're I kinda like this one. Sometimes with the maps, they kinda go overboard with it. But with this one, I think it just all of them, all the blocks just really blend nicely together. Um, 1.9 addition to chess. They're really going all in with those tridents. You're, you're going to see a ton of tridents in the network. I can guarantee that. New weekly items. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that what that is. It's another one of those word things like this one where you have to think about it. But I don't, I, I don't know what the heck that is. I really, I just don't know what that is. So if y'all could tell me give you some ideas in the comments um, and then the free-for-all update a new map new kit um next up is the java free-for-all 1.9 update new map new kit 1.9 additions to shop um i haven't really played the um, free-for-all on java um 
so I don't really know what the shop is like because in previously I've always just in bedrock you just tap a kit there's not really a shop so I don't know what that means this new map it's I kind of like it because normally it has always been just like fighting people and there's there's there used to be some lava but not a lot but what they've really done here is they've just added a lot of lava as you could probably tell um I think it's gonna be good I know it's probably gonna depend a lot on the person but I think it's gonna be good because previously it was just normal fighting and you know people would like steal your kill and stuff but in this one if you're people out here it's gonna be a lot harder to steal kills because I think people are gonna die a lot more when people get thrown in them um see a trident right there I don't I don't know how that's gonna work into it that's probably part of the new kit oh the archer kit is gonna get a big buff because now archers can actually do something because when they can like hit people into lava I think I think I'm kind of looking forward to that um kind of more like riskier to go out here and you know it's just gonna bring a new a new style to to the pvp and then over in this area and in this area this is kind of covered up by that block but in this area you're gonna see more of the normal pvp so you don't have to go over into the area with all the slob if you don't want to that's what it seems to me um this one's pretty similar full 1.9 support main hub refresh game hub refresh new skywars hub um i'm kind of disappointed with the new skywars hub because previously i thought it was a new game i think it's a really nice hub and it um, just represents Skywars more with all these islands and stuff, but I kind of wanted a new game. Um, yeah, all that, all that stuff. This, 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 that's all pretty similar. Um, new map, new kit. Yeah, no, no additional shop items. Doesn't look like, um, yeah. And the party event, it is like an event that they're going to host. Like, this isn't the name of the update. This is just an event that they're having. Um, celebrating 10 and probably more than 10 years by now. Maybe like 10 and a half when it comes out. New hub hunt and rewards. Um, I'm not a big fan of hunts, but honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to one as we haven't had a hunt in a while as there's usually the Halloween and Christmas hunts, but we haven't had that. Um, and that's probably going to be the, be the award that we have right there. Um, content on joining event. Yeah, it's like there's definitely going to be some type of event. Um, celebrating the content of our 1.9 content and java refresh um, all that stuff java ranks we work i'm kind of curious on what that's gonna entail um, i know they like previously disabled the buying of ranks until now but we're just gonna see how that is and this one's been there for a while um, and i do i do really like um, how that looks like that doesn't that just look good yeah this concludes the public update board um, hope you enjoyed it Remember to tell me what the heck this thing is, um, and just please subscribe. Goodbye.